Nigeria should be part of BRICS. A renowned engineer, Honorable Engineer Kinsley Udo Akpa, has urged the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, to ensure that Nigeria be part of BRICS. He made the call recently during an interaction with journalists in his office in Abuja. Honorable Udo, who said that BRICS was an acronym that stood for Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa noted that the forum would create an avenue that would expand trading in Nigeria with a view to strengthening the economy. Um, Nigeria should be part of uh, BRICS to afford this monopoly of currency called dollar, you know, and uh, it will help us in expanding our trade, you know, because uh, BRICS goes with the Brazil, the name Brazil, um, Russia, uh, China and South Africa. So with the introduction of that currency to help in spanning our business and we're not uh, solely dependent on a monopoly of one currency called dollar. The former lawmaker aspirant also said that the country should focus on local industries to create more jobs for their citizens, thereby engaging the youths and reduce social vices in the society. Searching of uh, rural industries can never be overemphasized. Look at what's happening today in Abba, in Abia State with geometric uh, power, which has come to be. My local government already has been powered by electricity and investment investors are trooping to Aba, uh, in the Abia State, uh, which very soon is going to be a commercial and industrial hub of this country. Speaking further, Anbul Udo appealed to President Tinibu to look into economic diversification of solid minerals. I've come to understand one thing that uh, the only product we have that earn us hard currency is oil. And if we satisfy our economy, like venturing into the solid minerals, which is my core area of specialty as a metallurgical engineer, we're going to make a lot of earnings from solid minerals. And we have them in large commercial quantities. He therefore encouraged the government to open all borders and deploy security personnel to man them with sophisticated weapons, while also calling on the government to focus more on the promotion of community policing. Honorable Udo stated that the people could secure themselves more than outsiders, just as he suggested that the Nigerian security system should be indigenized. He urged governments to improve the welfare of security operatives, adding that security agencies had been putting so much to secure the nation. Um, no matter how you look at it, every community today in Nigeria have their own local security. So it depends on the nomenclature you want to give to it. For instance, indigents being integrated into the police force, into the military. I don't think you want your community to be in chaos. So by indigenizing the security architecture of the country, it goes a long way in promoting security of the nation. I encourage state policing, and that should be done by indigents. He says that the cost of governance should be reduced, stressing that the National Assembly budget should be looked into and not overrated. He therefore called on all Nigerians, including foreigners residing in the country, to put their trust in President Bola Ahmed Tinubu-led administration, explaining that the Tinubu administration was putting measures in place to end the sufferings Nigerians are facing, bearing in mind that what they are passing through is a gestational period and will be of great benefit to all Nigerians.